Rockler's heavy duty cross dowels and bolts are an excellent hardware solution for joining big furniture legs to stretchers or rails. Installing them is as easy as drilling holes in the parts. In this video, I'm going to show you my method for doing it. Cross dowels and bolts can take the place of mortise and tenon joints with the added convenience that you can take the joints apart when you need to. All you need is a socket or a wrench. This hardware was perfect for the leg stretcher connections of this workbench project I just built, but it would also work nicely for trestle tables, bed frames, or other large projects where a strong undercarriage like this is critical, or when you know the project will occasionally need to be taken apart. There's just three pieces of hardware involved here a five and a half inch long hex bolt, a washer, and an inch and a quarter long seven eighths inch diameter cross dowel. The bolt passes all the way through the leg and into the end of the stretcher where it threads into the cross dowel. And tightening the bolt draws the joint together with tremendous strength. This hardware is designed for legs that are about two and a half inches to three and a half inches thick. And the rails or stretchers should be at least an inch thick to provide plenty of strength right here. There's also some range of possibility for where this cross dowel can be located on the end of the rail or stretcher. On my workbench application here, I located the cross dowel about as far out on the end of the bolt as I could because I think it maximizes joint strength on the stretcher side. The bolt comes nearly all the way through the cross dowel. But you can also locate the cross dowel a little bit closer to the leg like this without jeopardizing much joint strength. Now on my workbench, I centered the bolts on the width of the legs and on the thickness of the stretchers because my stretchers fit into these shallow grooves that are centered on the legs. Now, with all of this said, here's how I installed this hardware. To get started on this sample joint, I'm marking the center point of the bolt hole on the leg, then drilling all the way through the leg with a half inch bit. It's really important to use a drill press for this step so the hole goes straight through the leg. And now I can drill the bolt hole into the end of my stretcher. And I'm going to do that right along this center line that I've marked here using a self-centering doweling jig and a half inch brad point bit chucked in a handheld drill. The doweling jig will ensure that this bolt hole goes straight down into the end of my stretcher correctly. Here I'm clamping my doweling jig in place, then boring the bolt hole two and a quarter inches deep. The piece of green tape on my brad point bit serves as my depth stop. Now it's time for the cross dowel hole. And the center point for that is going to be two and a quarter inches in from the end of the stretcher we just drilled. I'll drill the dowel hole with a 7 8 inch diameter Forstner bit in my drill press to make sure the cross dowel hole passes straight through the thickness of the stretcher. I think these cross dowel joints look nicer when the rims of these cross dowel holes have little chamfers to clean up any tear out during drilling. And that's easy to do with a chamfering bit set for a shallow cut and a quick pass with a router. Now if I've drilled carefully up to this point, the joint should go together pretty easily. Here I'm slipping the cross dowel into its hole, lining up the stretcher on the leg, and threading the bolt into the dowel. Now take your time with this step to make sure the threads are lining up squarely. If they aren't, you might need to turn the cross dowel one way or the other slightly, with a flat blade screwdriver, and there's a slot on the side of the dowel for doing that. Then, once the threads are engaging smoothly, you can tighten the bolt with a 13 16 inch socket or a wrench. It's a good idea to check this hardware from time to time and tighten it, because it might loosen a little bit with changes in humidity as the wood moves. Keep these cross dowels and bolts in mind for your next large or heavy duty project where strength and knockdown convenience are what you're after. You can see them at your local Rockler store or at rockler.com. And to learn how to build this hybrid workbench, read our project article in the August 2022 issue of Woodworkers Journal Magazine. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine and Rockler, and thanks for watching.